Oh, it's off the Coral Walsh Grand National then. It's three miles and five furlongs. It's a Grade Three handicap, and at the top we've got last year's winner, Dawn of the New Age for Joshua Southern, trying to come back and repeat. Obsidian Shard for Leon Van Rensburg, Bucko for Martin Leon Southside, Kevin Meenahan, Moral Fat, Leon Van Rensburg, Leaf River, Darren Thompson, Landlock, Craig Beckwith, Classic Ben, David Hooley, Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerrard, Madeline Rose, Padraig Hogan, Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, Right on Cue, David Hooley, Crackled, Alex Cherry, Timeline Vale, Graham Clutterbuck, Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith, Trend Attitude, David Robertson, Boomerang Aman for... Graham Clutterbuck, Captain Mannerin, Martin Leadham, Silver Coo, James Shea, Thistledown Davinda for Padraig Hogan, Octopussy Stu Gray, and another way for Obi Wan. So 22 of them then in this good big field for a good big handicap. Now, away they go. One of the biggest handicaps of the season. Again, some of these Grade 3 handicaps are almost as prestigious as the Grade 1s. And Houston Obsessive looks like he might be the early leader, but now Landlark's come through on the inside to dispute the lead as they settle themselves down, sort themselves out through the first furlong or so on this long run to the first fence. And Landlark and Houston Obsessive are leading the way to Moral Fact in third of the leading pair. have opened up a gap of about three lengths on the remainder. One or two of them quite wide on the track at this point, particularly David Hooney's classic Ben and Kevin Meenahan's grey south side. But there's a long way to go and plenty of time to get themselves tucked in to a nice position. But they come down to the first then, and Landlark's over in the lead, Houston Obsessive over its second, down on its nose there was the Graham Clutterbuck horse Boomerang Aman, and Bucko is the early back marker as they get to the second which is the first ditch, and over that one they all go, they're all safely over it, good jumpers most of these, as they get to the third, with Landlark over in front from Houston Obsessive over in second, and Trend Attitude is third, after that one comes Leaf River and then Molly Awesome, the one of the new age of last year's winners on the inside as they take the fourth and they're all safely over the fourth one or two and tidy towards the back but they're all over it okay and landlock is a two length leader to houston obsessive in the second as they get to the fifth fence it's gone up thick and fast now after that long one to the first they're all still standing and they've negotiated five racing down towards the sixth with landlock coming to it in the lead Landlark gets over it in front from houston obsessive and then trend attitude and then Leaf River, Thistle Down to Vinda is after that one, and then Dawn of the New Age. With Classic Ben and Bucko just the back two. As they make their way to the fact, I think Classic Ben's a little bit detached from the rest of them. There he is, he's just coming to screen now. I was referring to Obsidian Shard before. On the inside is the other one towards the back with Bucko. But anyway, it's Landlark who's in the lead, leading by about two and a half lengths or so to Houston Obsessive in second. Trend Attitude is third, Leaf River is fourth. Then there's a gap back to the main group of the field who are headed by Thistle Down to Vinder in the yellow. Last year's winner, Dawn of the New Age on the inside. Then comes Moral Fact, then Captain Mannerin. Then after that one is Crackle, the first of the Greys is Timeline Veil as they get over the next where Houston Obsessive made a mistake and so too at the back. Madeline Rose is gone. She made a mistake and the jockey eventually bailed out. So Madeline Rose, the first one to depart the race for Padraig Hogan as they get to the eighth. He's still got Thistle down to Vinder. Oh, that one's gone at the back, Obsidian Shard. Obsidian Shard's gone, so that would be one of the fancy ones. The second top weight's gone. Uh, Leon van Rinsburg's horse out of the race as they get over the ninth. And they're starting to string out a little bit now with Landlock setting a pretty decent pace. And Houston Obsessive is in second, recovered from that early mistake. Then comes Trend Attitude as they get over the tenth. After that one comes Leaf River. Captain Mannerin made a mistake at that one. And Thistle Down to Vinders in fifth. Then after in sixth is the second Leon van Rensburg horse, Moral Fact. Dawn of the New Age. After that one as they get over the eleventh. And again, the mistake by the Graham Clutterbuck Grey as they make their way down towards the eleventh. With Landlark and, Ob and Houston Obsessive disputing the lead then as they pass the big screen, the winning post of the total lies eight aboard and they've got a complete circuit of the Chepstow track to go. Landlock on the inside of Houston Obsessive. So Landlock leads in, Houston Obsessive is second, Trend Attitude is third, and Leaf River is four. Then Thistle Down to Vinder is five, and Dawn of the New Age is six, and Crackwood is seven, and then Ride on Q is eight, and Moral Fact is nine, and Captain Manor in ten, and then Timeline Vale and Cottage Rake and Bocco and Southside, Octopussy, Molly Awesome, Boomerang, Aman, Classic Ben, another way, and finally Silver Coo at the back. 
but no more than 20 lengths or so off the leader. And it's Landlock and Houston Obsessive who dispute the lead, and as they continue this long one towards the next fence, with Last Leaf River about four lengths down in third, then Trend Attitude is behind that one. Then after that one comes Thistle Down to Vinda, Dawn of the New Age still going well under a big white last year's winner. After that one is Crackle, Moral Fact is going well, and right on cue he's getting into it. Captain Mannering's creeping a bit closer as they get to the next, and there was a mistake there by David Robertson's Trend Attitude has seen that one just drop back alongside Thistle Down. And Davinda. They're into this next ditch. Uh, all safely over the ditch. Bucko's making eye catching progress through the field. Wing. Moving up into the chasing pack as they get over the 14th. And they're all safely over the 14th with Landlark and Houston Obsessive continuing to show the way with Leaf River third. Then Trend Attitude fourth. This will down to Vinder is after that one as they take this plain one. And over that one they go, mistake towards the back by Southside, has seen that one actually shuffle back to last, but it's Houston Obsessive who's now just about taking it up. Houston Obsessive from Landlock on the inside, then comes Leaf River, they get over that next one, but Landlock jumped it much better, and has now gone up quickly, two lengths clear, to Houston Obsessive in second, then Leaf River and Trend Attitude, after that one comes right on cue, Crackled is next, Dawn of the New Age after that one, as they all get over that one, there's a crash in full there for Crackled, Crackled has gone, heavy fall at that one, as they race down towards the next, it's Landlark in the lead in the Welsh National from Houston Obsessive in second, they're queuing up behind to take these two on the ground, clubs of great timeline Vale is creeping into it nicely around the outside also right on queue is there, so's Leave River, Moral Fact is trying to get going as well, they take the turn for home then now, they've still got a long way to go though, it's a long straight at Chepstow and Landlark is in the lead but he's now being chased by right on queue in a purple jacket in second Leaf River's come round the outside in third Houston Obsessive trying to stick on in fourth. Dawn of the New Age, the big weight under the next one. He's next in fifth. Then comes Timeline Vale and Moral Fact, Captain Mannering and Trend Altitude. And also um, Thistle Down to Vinda still trying to get into it as well as they come to the 18th. Over the 18th they go. And they're all safely over the 18th with Leaf River and Ride on Crew. Now the leading pair as they come down towards the fourth from home. And it's Leaf River and Ride on Cue neck and neck over this ditch. And a mistake and a fall. There fall Ride on Cue. Ride on Cue's gone. On, and left Leaf River clearing the lead by five. Clear, it's in clear in front. Silver Coos in second. Then comes Landlark in third. Houston Om says he was next. Then Boomerang and Mar after that one. Over the third last they go. And Leaf River is clear by two. But Silver Coo under a lightweight is really beginning to close. Then on the outside timeline well Boomerang and Mar is coming into it. Over the second last they go. And it's Silver Coo jumps into the lead. Landlark's a faller. But it's Silver Coo's gone on. Silver Coo's in the lead. Leaf River's trying to fight back. Houston Om says he's trying to get back in to it as well, Captain Mannering's running on over the final fence they go, Leaf River is in the lead, Leaf River from Silver Coo here comes Captain Mannering on the near side and Captain Mannering's now steaming up into the lead and Captain Mannering is beginning to pull away, Captain Mannering's in the lead from Thistle Down to Vinda Captain Mannering's in the lead, here comes Thistle Down to Vinda and also Cottage Rake but it's Captain Mannering who wins it, don't tell him by Cottage Rake is second then comes Houston Obsessive and Thistle Down to Vinda and Captain Mannering has got up to take the Welsh National and given a perfect ride in this league for two races in particular, well, three races in particular and I'll tell you what they are, they are the Welsh Grand National which he's just won the cross country at the Cheltenham Festival and the Whitbread Gold Cup later in the season so Captain Mannerin takes it for Martin Leadham as you may well have guessed, is me. Cottage Rake second for Craig Beck with Silver Coo, James Shea third. Thistle Down to Vinda for Padraig Hogan was fourth. And Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth.